hi everyone so this video was inspired by a common error that people are falling into you know when they want to join the poultry league they want to start a poultry business and they, you know the first thing of course you want to do is you get a business plan you want to know the roadmap to success yes that's a good one but then there is a kind of error that people fall into there are certain things that they take their, their eyes off they take their eyes off some certain things that are very key and they focus on certain parts of the investment investment they focus on the financials they focus on the cash inflow the ex their expectations are so high of course poultry business is always lucrative but then you need to get your hopes in check so i have certain things here that we often overlook when we are talking about our business plan and these things are brought out from the reality of things you know oftentimes people just ask probably an accountant or, or somebody online there to get them a business plan a poultry business how will you ask somebody who is not into the poultry business to get you a business plan fine if they are into poultry how much of experience do they have do they have the theoretical knowledge or they have the practical knowledge if they have the practical knowledge how long have they been in the business if they have been so long in the business what particular aspect of poultry are they into are they into layer farming or are they into broiler farming you need to ask somebody who has a very comprehensive knowledge about poultry to get you a comprehensive business plan that cuts across everything you need to check and even after that no matter who you call to get your business plan business plans are just business plans they are certain things that you need to put at the back of your mind when you are investing in poultry and these are the things i'll be sharing with you today this secret here is one of the things that cause some people to leave the business they back out of the business after a few months or years but if you are able to understand these things and you plan accordingly then i bet you you're going to remain in the business for longer you're going to make so much profit so welcome back again this is DIY Hagrick, I'm your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. I'm here to ensure that you succeed in poultry, come rain, come shine. So quickly we'll be diving in to the, the uh, differentiating between what you have in your business plan and what reality holds. For the sake of this video, I won't be going so much into the financials. I mean, what you stand to gain after a couple of months in the business. I won't be going into that because I want to try as much as possible to limit this video to just the things that you need to put at the back of your mind when you are considering your business plan. So I got talking with somebody recently, I think, um, few weeks ago and the person was sharing their business plan and how or uh, how how their expectations are how much they wish to invest and how much they believe they would have out of the business after a couple of years i think in three years they wanted to get so many <laughs> hundreds of thousands or even millions and i was like wow if poultry business was like this man everybody will be doing it the senators will back out of whatever they are doing and they will get into poultry of course if poultry is as you think it is everybody will be doing it and the thing is most rich men out there most people who have cash who have money to invest out there they just you know they just ask to buy some crates of egg occasionally and when they hear a crate of egg is 1300 they think wow these people are making so much money how much does it take to raise a chicken to start to lay how much does it take to feed them once they consider those little details and they believe wow i mean you can gain up to 400 naira on a crate of egg wow that's so much money that's how far they go but that is a very very myopic view i want to share a broad view with you today so the number one thing we'll be talking about here is don't worry you'll get all the tips if you are yet to subscribe if you are just joining us or you have been watching a couple of videos but you are yet to hit the subscribe button it means that um if you're coming back it means that you this video my videos are of value to you and i would like you to just hit the subscribe button now if you are getting value already from this video i want you to hit the like button and if you don't want to miss any of my videos please click the notification bell so you always get notifications when i drop new videos so the first one i'll be talking about here i'll be unveiling this guy is mortality yes mortality yeah this this is quite simple yeah i think a lot of business plans do feature these and they they make uh, an allowance for mortality i think most of them 
make an allowance of two to five percent mortality yes that's fine but then did you know that occasionally especially when you are just starting the business occasionally you can encounter mortalities of up to 10 or 20 percent yes especially when you are doing layer farming you know this best day um, longer on your farm before they even start to live you are raising them from day hold if you might be lucky to avoid that kind of number if you are getting points of lay on your farm but you need to be prepared for the worst case scenario two to four five percent fine but then you need to be prepared for the worst case scenario especially if you're a starter most starters also they are trying to cut costs they don't get a vet they don't have an animal scientist to help them look after their farm most of them just do a couple of trainings online and they start the business no that's not the best way to do it so you have to be prepared for the worst case scenario when we talk about mortality but of course a lot of business plan cover that i'm going to be getting into the aspects that you probably did not consider before when you were thinking about your business plan so number two that we'll be talking about is yeah so the other thing here is market market and marketing are one of the things that some business owners don't want to consider uh, there are some limitations that new businesses are not willing to consider and market is not always as you predict it to be the market forces occasionally the shift for example let's say you start your farm where there's abundance of egg in supply let's say you are doing a layer farm now and there's abundance of egg do you know that existing existing businesses already have customers that can take up their eggs they are also they can they have the financial capability into also sell their hex at a cheaper rate but you after doing your business plan and you have your financial expectation and all that you want to gain so much from the business and that may throw you into shock for example let's say you are just getting um just the amount of money you used in feeding your birds is, is that what you are into the business for no so market and marketing doesn't always play out as you expect in your business plan yes occasionally there are uh, not even occasionally there are times where egg is scarce and a lot of people are looking for egg or even if it is brother family you are doing there are times where people are just after the birds they they need it they are willing to pay you a good amount of money for or each kg of bed that you supply but there are times where supply is so much and the demand for your own stock is limited so market is another aspect that you really need to consider and number three what do we have here oh great employee integrity this is one critical aspect that you want to consider when you are thinking of poultry farming employee integrity is something that is hard to come by did you know that you can be gaining so much your business might be bringing in so much revenue but 80 percent of the revenue might be going into your employees pockets there are dubious people out there who are willing to who are willing to scoop all your gains and turn it to theirs so if you don't invest so much in hiring the best i mean the most committed um, employee on your farm then you might be into the wrong game already so employee integrity is one thing that your business plan will not cover and it is very very critical to the success of your poultry business yeah number four is security Yes, of course, your business plan will tell you, okay, for this size of farm, you should employ um, two men to man the gate and all that. No, that's not the aspect of security I'm talking about. You can tell that there's insecurity everywhere now in Nigeria and even neighboring African countries. In short, all over the world, the problem of insecurity, but we are more uh, challenged with security issues in Nigeria so your business plan will not feature the security challenges that we are facing in Africa that we are facing in Nigeria your business plan will not feature it these are the things that you really need to plan towards you need to know where you are citing your farm based on the history of insecurity in that area you need to figure 
out if this is the right place for you to site your farm or not. Of course, some things may happen after you have sited your farm, you have started operation. Yes, and those are other things that your business plan will not cover. So you need to put that at the back of your mind and you know, you pray and trust God that bad things will not happen to your farming business. Okay, so now let's move to number five which is another very, very serious problem that we're facing in um, Nigeria, power supply. Power supply, if there is no adequate power supply on your farm, is going to put so much pressure on your expenses. You're going to be spending so much of fuel, uh, your diesel generator, you're going to be spending so much money and your business plan may not actually account for that amount of fuel, that amount of diesel you'll be using every month. For example, I think in the past two weeks now, fuel price has been increased and your business plan will not feature that. Your business plan will not feature that into consideration. So these are the things that happen that you really need to prepare for. When siting your farm, it is better to site it where there is good power supply. Yes, it is better to site it where there is good power supply, especially if you are good, thinking of mechanizing your farm, which is something that will make the whole process uh, efficient. If you are thinking of mechanization, then you need to site your farm where there is adequate supply of electricity. So let's quickly look at the last one we have here, which is poor quality chicks. Yes, arteries in Nigeria are trying their best, but their best is not good enough. There are times that you plan to get good birds, but then after the birds get to your farm, you realize that they are poor quality chicks. After some weeks, you start to see some crazy signs. And these are the things that your business plan will not cover. Your business plan will not tell you that occasionally you will get birds that are bad. Yes, you can get them in thousands or in hundreds. Your business plan will not tell you that, oh, chicks may come and they are not good they are not performing well if they are brothers they are brothers that you will raise for nine weeks and they are still looking like they are three weeks so your business plan will not cover that there are layer beds that you will get and 23 24 weeks 25 weeks they are still not laying and you know for sure that it's not a matter of management it's a problem from the artery so these are things your business plan may not cover so am i trying to tell you that poultry farming is no longer lucrative no that's not the point what i'm trying to say is that you put your expectations in check based on these and even a couple of other factors you have to put your expectations in check don't spend based on your expectations don't don't uh don't buy this and buy that and buy that because you expect to get so so and so amount of money from your investments plan ahead and try as much as possible to save uh your profits for expansion and all that so that is why that is what i'm calling your attention to i'm not saying business plans are bad of course they are good they are good pointers they can help you they can help you map out a particular uh, roadmap a strategy that you can follow to scale your business and all that but then you have to also live with the reality of things you have to know what is available you have to know what is achievable and you have to try as much as possible to get the best from the business so if you think that this video is of value to you please click the like button if you have not done that already also if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please click the subscribe button now to join our community this is where i share tips that help you to succeed in your poultry farming business and if you don't want to miss any video ever you can click the notification bell so you get notified when new videos are dropped thank you very much for sticking around this long and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.